Well, hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's time for another Olight video, and this has got to be the most flashlights, and especially nice flashlights, that Olight has ever sent in one pack. They sent the Pro Max here, the Swivel Pro Max work light. I love my normal Pro Max pro version i don't have a pro max the pro version is a little narrower light than this but so handy this is going to be cool too and this even doubles as a battery bank for your devices it's got a 10,400 milliamp hour battery in it and it has usb in and out so you can charge it with c and it's got an a port that you can charge all your other stuff maybe even your flashlights off of it so these are super, super handy. I use it all the time. I've got it right in the back seat organizer. I've got one of those Vito organizers on the back of my seat in the truck. I keep my Swivel Pro right on there. So let's get into these really quick and show you guys what all they have because this is part of a sale that they've got going on right now. So I'll have all the links in the description down below. So if you want to go look at something, you can. They'll have all kinds of great deals going on for their sale this week. And... If you want something that's not on sale, I have a discount code, MILLIS10, gets you discount on anything that's not on sale. So, anyway, let's dig into this and check out some of these lights they sent. Full disclaimer here, I shot this video as a fantastic unboxing video, nearly 20 minutes long, and I had fun with this. And somehow, my microphone wasn't plugged in, so here we are doing it again. That's why everything is already out. I'm doing the best I can here, guys. Sometimes I slip a little bit. So they sent one of these Gober lights in here. And if you've seen these before with me, I have the green ones and they're on my Vito Pro Pack backpack, their everyday carry backpack. I keep them right on the straps right here so that you have a little light you can just touch and turn on. There's Molly loops there on backpack straps. A lot of backpacks and things like that have them. And these lights just quarter turn and come off and they've got them right here on both sides. This is just a little puck that goes right in the middle that they're able to be mounted to with a little keychain or clip you could put on your bag or whatever with two of the little Gober lights. So these are actually USB-C rechargeable. Olight's really good about using USB-C or magnetic on everything. So you have a USB-C right here. You can just plug those in. It does come with a little USB-A to C and it'll plug in just like that right in the back of that light to recharge it. They seem to last me a long time between charges though. So these little clips also come with them and they have a nice lock on the end. So if you put this on a molly strap, it doesn't come off. You actually have to get in there with your fingers and open this up to get it off the strap. And then you just put your light in, quarter twist it like that and it mounts right on that clip just like so. So just a neat little light. Go ahead and touch and hold, and we can get this turned on. It'll come on there. Red, then just touch to go through. You've got green, blue, and white. Now, if you touch again, it's going to go to a strobe like that, just all the different colors in a circle. So this is a really neat setting to have if you're out walking at night, riding your bike, whatever. Just a neat way to go. So I really like these lights. I've got them, obviously, on my backpack and some of my other bags as well. And this little double set here would be nice to just keep a couple charged ones clipped inside the bag. Then you wouldn't have to worry. If you have one go dead, you can just snap a new one right on your chest there. It does have a little screwdriver if you want to actually take that little shackle off. And is that not the neatest little teeny tiny screwdriver to remove that clip there on the side? So comes with all that good stuff right there with those little Gober lights. They've been out a while and I really like them. So... This is a new one that I've not seen from them before. And here, it actually has a keychain on it, so you can put this end on your keychain and then have a little clip to take it on and off. But this right here, with the rubber cover, if you slide that rubber cover off, is a direct USB-A charging end. So you can just plug this in to your computer or anywhere you have a power brick going on and have this there. And then all you do is actually just pull the flashlight out the end and it comes on just like that. Has one setting, just a nice medium bright. Really handy, I'm guessing here, if you just want to keep it in the side of your computer or something, you can grab it right out and use it. The ones I have like this that don't have the USB on the back end are just a keychain light that you pull and they turn on. 
I hang them on everything. They're on my bags and all. Because if I'm missing my normal light, I have one I can just grab and go with just like that. And they just take a little... The normal ones I had before just take a coin cell battery in here. But obviously this one is a rechargeable setup and it does not open from what I can tell. So just a completely self-contained little light right there. That is really slick though. Not a whole lot of moving parts to lose. You can just plug it right in plug the actual light in and charge it kind of handy so a lot of those little lights that they put in here and stuff will be different specials that come free when you order a certain amount of lights so that's why they include so many of these little ones for me to show you guys a lot of times a lot of times they're the free gifts so be sure you go check out that sale and see what they've got going on so this is the little ir2 and this is almost a little holographic orange one here ir2 pro and these are one of my favorite little bitty lights because you just unscrew it another twist and you have a USB-C right there. So this actually just charges with USB-C right there in the side of the light, just like that. And then just two settings so you can come down. Light, just a light Titan will give you the low setting and then screw it all the way down and it will come on on high. So you just have off, low, and high and it's marked right on the back what those settings are. And then that extra turn and there's your USB-C. It does have a little O-ring in here, so that should help keep the dust and everything out of the inside when you screw it down. Those are one of my favorite little keychain lights right there. I've, I've gotten really hooked on those. I put them everywhere too. I'm getting quite a flashlight collection at this point. I did Surefires for a long time, and I still have Surefires everywhere too, but now that I have O-Light, I'm just, I'm ending up with a ton of O-Lights everywhere. One more little thing before we move on to the two big lights. They sent me a limited edition, and I don't think I have the box. Yes, I do. Very nice box packaging for this one right here. This is the O-Pen Mini, and if you know, I love the O-Pen Minis. I have the green ones. I bought I bought like six of them on Amazon. Didn't, <laughs> didn't even get those for free. I bought those directly myself after I got a purple one and a red one from Olight sent to me, and I liked them so much. I'm a big fan of their olive green, my backpacks, everything of that color, and my truck, so I end up putting green everywhere. But this is a solid brass limited edition pin. They're a little bolt-action pin, but this one here, I don't know how much these are, but this is one solid little pin if you want one that really feels another level of higher end than the normal O-Pin Minis. And these just take refills just like that, right inside there. They'll have them on the Olight site. And I think you can actually get these refills probably at Staples and everywhere too. They look like a normal one that we use like when we're wood turning pins. We turn pins on a lathe too. Yeah. So neat little pin. I really like those. And a solid brass one's just going to class up my field notes book quite a bit do you guys use field notes any of you guys i know we kind of show a lot of higher end stuff here on the channel and tools and everything but my little notebook for taking notes on jobs and stuff i use a little field notes with the little leather journal cover those are slick with kind of the the space pen that writes on the waterproof paper and everything yeah i get into a lot of neat stuff so they actually included the little l stand with this and these have 3m on the back they give you an extra 3M too if you mess up the first time and stick it somewhere you don't want it. This little stand right here that has Olight on the back, you can stick it on the wall or anything you want and then the mag it'll just magnetize to it. You can even hang your lights upside down if you want. Maybe even put another one on top and have two on one little shelf. But those are kind of slick. They come, they come with a few of their really nice higher end lights. This is the Warrior Mini 3. Isn't that color gradient just really neat on that? It goes from black down here right on into the dark green or the other way, however you like to say it. But the neat part about this that I've found is this button here on the back end. This is the charger, of course. So you have your normal Olight magnetic charger. It goes right on here to charge your flashlight. But that's also a button. And a light push gives you a medium light. A harder push gives you turbo right there. But you can also get turbo with a double tap here on the front. And turbo on this is 1,750 lumens, I believe. I looked that up a little bit ago 
because that is an insane amount of light. 1,750 lumens on turbo. This also has a very strong strobe mode. It's a triple tap on this button and it will go into strobe mode. I don't. I try to not do that here on the channel. If you actually want to see it, let me know. Maybe I'll do it on them in the future, but I don't want anybody getting shocked on a video that's not used to seeing a bunch of flashing light. But this light, this little Warrior Mini 3 has a ridiculous strobe. I played with it a little bit ago. So your normal light, you can just touch and we have a half of a lumen right there. That's what they call moonlight. You've heard me say before how much I like moonlight. It's nice for looking at paperwork in the car anytime you don't want to blow your night vision out. But then you can just hold it down and it will cycle up through the modes and you can stop wherever you want to. So there would be there would be high, low, medium, high, low, medium, high, just like that. It does have the other feature that we've seen on the previous lights. So you actually have a lit center right here on your button. And that is usually your battery level, if I'm not mistaken here. The light there in the center of the button should let you know how much battery you have. And what I see right now is, yes, so green means you have more than 60% battery, orange is below 60, red is 10%, and blinking red is 5%. So it's green right now, kind of getting to be a little orange. So I haven't even charged these. I took them right out of the box. And yeah, I know, you're supposed to charge them first. But what are you going to do when you're doing an unboxing? So anyway, this also has a really nice crenellated bezel here. I love that design on a flashlight, just those nice little pointy edges all the way around. Can be a little rough on your pocket, but this one's not too aggressive, I don't think. I just like the look. It's it, it's neat. A little tactical looking light. So one last little look at that Warrior 3 right there, Mini. That is one nice little light right there. Hopefully you guys like that as much as me. I, I am really into flashlights, tools, all this stuff, if you can't tell. So this last one, we mentioned this right in the beginning, but this light has a 10,400 milliamp hour battery bank battery built into it. So its battery of 10,400 can be used bi-directionally. You've got a USB-C and A right here in the top under the dust cover. And so it'll come with a double-ended USB-C on both ends. So you can use this to charge, charge this up, and then you can also plug in your phone or whatever and charge it off of this light, which is super handy on a job site. The lighting in this, you've got low, medium, and high, just like normal, but you've got your red, you've got a flashing red. Sorry about that again. I, I try not to do those, but this, is want, this wants to come on on that setting. There we go. So press and hold from that and we can change it. Once we're here, usually, let me see if I can get this going for myself. There we go. Now we can step up through the brightnesses and it's just one touch for each brightness level. One touch is on, I touch it again, again, and back down and off. So you have a red light, a flashing red light, low, medium, and high. And this has some incredibly high too. 1600 lumens on turbo mode. High is 650. So runtime kind of gets interesting with these, but on these larger battery lights, you do get more than you'd think. If you run this on low, 45 lumens, 120 hours. On medium, which is 320 lumens, you'll get 18 hours. On high at 650 lumens, Four, it says 460, plus you'll get another 50 minutes on 300 lumens. So 460 minutes. I'm not sure why that wouldn't have been put in hours, but if we figure that out, what would that be? 6, 12, 18, 24, 244 hours. So we're somewhere around what? 6 times 6 is 360. 427 hours. 7 hours and 40 minutes on high. So... I've not had an issue with these larger swivel lights actually going dead on me on the job. I can usually get through the day. Now, if you kick this all the way to turbo 1600 lumens, you're going to get 10 minutes before it steps down to 1000 lumens. And at 1000 lumens, it'll run 240 minutes, which is four hours before stepping down to 600 lumens for the last 30 minutes before it's dead. So these 
have some amazing battery life really for what they do and the ability to have the built-in battery bank to charge stuff is super handy just to have in a work light so here on the back the clip it does have a tripod mount your little quarter 20 right there and a clip right here so if you need to hook it on a pipe or a wire works really well for that and then heavy duty magnets right around here so you can stick it my desk is magnetic you can see it'll stick you can hang this up, you know, and then this will also swivel. So obviously it's a swivel pro. So swivels 150 degrees, it says right here on the back. So you can hang this almost any way you want to. I, I like these extremely versatile little lights. That's going directly in the truck. And most of these are. This, is, this was a neat box right here. A lot of really cool stuff. Let me know what you guys think. We really appreciate having Olight on as a channel pretty much ongoing sponsor from what we've experienced so far thank you guys for your use of olight they sure appreciate you guys checking their stuff out but just remember they send me all this stuff for free i let you know when i actually buy something from them which i have with the pins and a couple of flashlights but i get so many things from them free i hate to buy something because then it might show up next month but Thank you guys for letting me get to show you guys some lights here. Even though I screwed up the first unboxing, we had to shoot it again. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully your July is going like mine. If you haven't noticed, my video uploading has been so random this month. For two months, really, because the workload has been unbelievable. We've had a full basement remodel we had to do. We got three rentals back that we had to do complete redos on from really trashy tenants. Um, just so many calls for work above and beyond what I normally have to deal with and then the maintenance on the commercial properties has they like this time of year because it gets a little bit slow in the middle of kind of summerish here in Oklahoma so they want to knock out everything they can and that is a tremendous amount of work so hang in there we'll be back to a lot more steady videos in the future but I will try to keep the shorts coming out and as many of these as I can get time away from that work to do thank you guys for being here we'll see you on the next one